Oh dear. <laughs> So I was feeding the stato da pe Kalyana uh, and I thought I would see what kind of footage I could get of doing it. Uh, it was quite an interesting uh, experience, especially now they're starting to get a wee bit bigger. Uh, for, those, for those of you that don't know uh, what the stato da pe Kalyana is, it's uh, a species of false widow. I bought them because the markings are absolutely stunning. Uh, and once they colour up as adulthood, they, take, they can take on a beautiful red colour, looking very similar to uh, the true widow, uh, the, the, the black widow. And I'm currently uh, getting fried rice thrown at me. Homemade! <laughs> and it's getting thrown everywhere. Anyway, on with the feeding video. So as we watch uh, this false widow feeding on a small cricket, you'll see as the cricket hits the web, what she does is she actually starts firing off fresh webbing. Uh, this creates anchor points in which the cricket is then stuck within the web and it's already triggered. The widow builds webs, all interlinked. The vibrations alert her to the fact that there's either danger or food to which she can investigate. Her eyesight is very poor and it sees sensory vibrations of which you rely on to, to, to allow them to act. So you'll see here, she starts immediately firing off fresh webbing and you can see the big globules of glue on there. One thing I find quite fascinating is the lack of, the lack of actual information that people have on these. The general mass population see these as some form of prolific killing creatures, uh, mostly due to mainstream media. What I wanted to do over the course of this video as we watch this one and some of my smaller species being fed was provide some information that could hopefully help change people's opinions on these. So, the false widow is believed to have arrived here on cargo ships around about 1879. That means that in reality, the false widow has been in this country for 138 plus years. That's a long time. And it's only in recent years they've become these dangerous death machines. And I have to wonder why exactly that is. Maybe there's not enough happening that the media need to create a villain to sell, to sell papers and to create panic. There's around 650 known species of spiders that live in the UK. Of around that, only about 12 can bite or penetrate human flesh. We have four known species of Steadota. The Bipunctata, please forgive the pronunciation. The Grossa, the Pe. Kaliana and the nobilis, with the nobilis being the largest of the four species. The genus Steadota is a member of the Theridaidae family. This includes over 120 known species. The Steadota is often mistaken for the Latrodectris, which is the, the actual widow species of spiders. They can resemble the, the black widow, some of which have red markings. Uh, the Peacolana can have these red markings. And hence the reason that they can be known as, or they are known as false widows, is due to the often mistaken identity of them being true widows. Within the UK, there are no reported deaths associated with false widow bites. On the other hand, Bee and wasp stings kill an average of 10 people per year. Ergo, the, black, the false widow is less dangerous to you than a bee or a wasp. And yet, the mirror describes it as the potentially deadly false widow. That is a quote from the mirror. Potentially deadly false widow. I reiterate, bees or wasps kill an average of 10 people. No associated deaths linked to false widows. Like anything else, their bites are a defensive act. They don't run about attacking people. 
Uh, they're not as prolific as they're made out. As I say, it's a defensive mechanism, the same as most other animals that attack. The Black Widow Venom, however, is 1,000 times more potent than that. And even then, deaths are relatively rare. Now, the False Widow Bite, that's allegedly killing, that is potentially deadly, it's a neurotoxin. This means it affects the nervous system. Other spiders, such as a brown recluse, have a necrotic bite. So, any bites linked to the false widow that have these flesh-dissolving necrotic acts, either one, it's a case of mistaken identity, or two, the infection is caused, it's a secondary infection. The bite wound itself has become infected. It's not the bite that has caused any infection to the skin. It's the bacteria have got into the bite site. So there's a few pieces of information I hope can change minds and make people perhaps think a little bit differently about the false widow and maybe treat them with a little bit more respect than we do. Please do think about some of this information and hopefully you've learned enough that you won't just believe all the hype. Enjoy the rest of the footage. Thank you. Okay, so we're about an hour in. And... Yep, some quality feasting going on there by the looks of it. Oh. I think somebody's being eaten. Okay, so this is a couple hours in, and as you can see, if the camera would focus on the correct thing, of course it doesn't help with the fact I broke the screen on my phone, so if I say I did, the wee man did. But I would say there's been some healthy feasting going on there. Uh, Cricket is looking somewhat dehydrated and souked clean. Yummy. Lovely. I've just noticed one of my other larger ones is now chomping on there, Cricket. But we know how that story goes. Okay, so I really hope that having watched that video, uh, you'll be a wee bit more educated, certainly about uh, the false widow, the steatoda species that are, are live in this country. Um, I really hope, obviously, it could go a long way to altering people's perceptions of them and perhaps look at spiders in an entirely different, different way because, for me, education is key in the resolution of uh, arachnophobia. What I would like to say is that this initially started off as just a feeding video, but inspired by Mark Tarantula's amazing documentary style uh, video on tarantulas and the history of spiders slash tarantulas, which I'm going to put a link to down in the comments. I would highly recommend you watch that. Anyway, it inspired me to... No. No. inspired me to kind of follow on from that and focus in on the false widow species because they are very much villainized so anyway there'll be a link for mark tarantulas it's an amazing channel please do check it out the link will be down uh, in the, the comments there and please do like and subscribe take be good be kind take care and bye bye for now uh, and let me know what you think of this video bye bye